AI running as part of the Windows operating system is going to be taking screenshots of your computer. So uh, not only that, but also Windows 10 security updates are going to be stopping in 2025 and around October. Sorry, I'm in the basement doing laundry. A couple things about this. Um, Windows 10 is basic. There are some people that have some, there are some valid concerns about the uh, privacy breaches that can come with Windows 10, but you have the ability to turn those off. Windows 11 is much more of a you know, resource hog than 10 was which is more than 8 was. Actually, I think it's less than 8 was, and then Windows 7 is Windows 7. Um, but there's no security updates for Windows 10 going forward, so the time date clock for me being able to use Windows on my main driver has effectively started. And for many of you, it should be too, because there are no laws, regulations, or even scruples present around AI at this point. Open AI tries to do the best it can in that regard but you know they the, even then it's hit or miss they, in regards to how much of their data set that is is completely stolen which i'm guessing is quite a lot of it all things considered but even even if it wasn't their the cult of worship around their ceo is a little leery to me um but back to the microsoft thing um, it's uh, it's gonna AI is we're going to have AI whether we want it or not. Most of us don't really, but you know there have been copywriters, graphic designers, um, uh, paralegals, things, all things of that nature. Who lot lots of different jobs that you know are important that have gotten axed because of artificial intelligence and you know um the ai death spiral aside ai death spiral being you know ai learning from other ai things and then just the results getting worse and worse and worse you have to feed it human created content otherwise it just won't generate anything worth a damn is going to continue being an issue and it, Microsoft is liable to create one of the most sophisticated artificial intelligence models, large language models, probably on available in the market, beating OpenAI out by a country fucking mile because they're able to scrape all of the data and take screenshots from every one of the personal computers, computing users using Windows 11. I promise you I will not be doing this, and I <laughs> encourage y'all not to either. Um, I'm sticking with Windows 10 for as long as I can, and then I'm probably going to be swapping over to Linux, probably some kind of Mint installation, because I'm not an edgelord that uses uh, Arch, and Ubuntu looks too much like a fucking Mac for me. Um, you know, obviously this is a giant, you know, infringement of privacy, that obviously goes without saying but um you know there's a part of me that does question uh how far is ai gonna get before there are any regulations and the, the the u.s government which is I, I live in the u.s hurrah let's fucking go i guess whatever is notoriously slow at regulating um the t uh you know technological advancements and routinely don't fucking do it properly let's you know, be fucking for real here for a second. Uh, I I insert Pearl Mania joke here talking about somebody said I uh, called me a Discord kitten. What is that? Is that a term for Chinese surveillance? Just, just, they're old as shit. And, you know, I'm not saying old people can't, you know, get hip with technology. God knows my grand, my, my, my grandma is, one of my grandmas is, she's fucking dope at it. But, you know, the rest of them are kind of dog shit. Those people in their generation. You know, there's an entire generation of people and who took pride in the, their ignorance of not learning anything new. And now they, we live in a world where, you know, you, you to 
to enter to check on the status of your med of your of your Medicaid payment, you know, your your Social Security payment. You probably you can either try and call an office and wait in line for God knows how many hours, or you check their fucking website. So, do, does Social Security have you know the ability to check your availability on a website? I don't know. Those the the fuckers in charge, you know, of all who are all of that age, have created an economy where I'm probably not going to get access to Social Security. But this is a tangent that is not what we're talking about. <sighs> Regardless, um, I mean, move to Linux. Um, I hate Apple. I hate Apple. I hate Apple. But I'll give credit where credit is due. They very, well, they, they, they very much let you own your data. Um, don't put your shit in the cloud. Um, get, I think it's called Image, and it's a open source cloud software. I was actually looking at it myself. I might um, uh, if I see if I can get a. Uh, I'd love someday to get a um, just bite the bullet, get like an old fucking Bitcoin mining rig on the cheap, and you know just like fill out the parts of it over time, replace the RAM, replace the cards and all that, and there's like like a big multi-terabyte server that I can just put up all, like everything in my Google Drive on, I can put everything up there, and it's all open source, and it'd be lovely to have. Someday, someday, someday I'll do that. It'd be nice. Oh, God, it'd be nice. Especially if I can, uh, God. I digress. Um, I am babbling a little bit at this point. This is bad. Um, you know, you, you, you I, like, you, you, yes, will Microsoft have access to your personal information in the form of being able to completely replicate it? Not necessarily. AI doesn't necessarily work like that. It, it's like a black box. It's like YouTube's algorithm. You're not going to be able to, they're not, they, might be able to depending on how they wrote the language model but by and large a lot of times these language models internally work in ways that we're not necessarily able to kind of like figure out if you fuck up the language model you have to scrap it start anew and teach it some new shit and hope that you don't you don't have to put a poison pill in there and speaking of poison pill if you are a creative and you are specifically of a of a visual uh design um I would encourage you to uh, go um, check out Nightshade. It's a uh, um, it's a, a piece of software that you can filter all your photos through before you post them on the internet. And they basically they they alter um, your pictures to a pix the pixel based level to the point where it's like you're not that you can't perceive them as a human. But an AI will take that data in, and it will um, basically be a poison pill to that AI's ability to generate shit. It's very funny, and, and ruining tech bros things is very funny. It's you know it's funny. All of the sh you know crypto shysters I saw like who were shilling stuff like I I was into crypto for a little while. I thought it was interesting. I thought you know removing you know finance and transactions out of the purview of you know centralized authorities that I personally didn't trust was a good idea until I realized, wait, I don't think I need to have the, a record of me visiting a doctor in, in an immutable list. So, you know, the biggest thing that these crypto bros hate, you know, and the reason they push AI so much is because they ultimately do not have a creative bone in their body and they're not good at these things. And they that makes them they're insecure about it and they want nothing more than to they, they, in, in, in true fascistic nature they want to get rid of the artist they love the art they want to get rid of the artist there's a reason why people like Adolf Hitler and the rest of them like focus on like artwork of long dead uh, German artists who couldn't critique them for using their work in ways that were bastardized. So that's why they love AI because then they can get rid of the artists and make whatever they want without having to like put any humanity behind it. But that's a rant of all that was all over the place. I'm going to go flip the laundry. Have a good night. Goes if you want to support me, go to hmedia.gg/tip. I'm poor. I appreciate the help.